<laughs> Welcome back to California Live. When it comes to cooler weather, comfort foods, few dishes can compare to chicken pot pie. Uh, is, isn't it true? <laughs> and helping us learn how to bake this flaky fall treat is author of the new cookbook, Preppy Kitchen, recipes for seasonal dishes and simple pleasures, John Canal. Welcome so much, John. Thank you for having me. Well, th no, thank you okay. for being here. So <laughs> All the deliciousness coming towards you. I know. Well, congratulations on the new cookbook. Thank you. And chicken pot pie, first of all, for fall. So what's first? Where do we start here? We have our shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. We have some delicious root vegetables. There's potatoes, there's turnips, there's carrots in here. And you can add your favorites. If you want to add peas, add peas, have at it. I also have a wonderful sauce. The base of this is a roux and it's flavored with sage. So, you know, roux is just gonna be like some butter and flour mixed together. It'll thicken everything up and give like a delicious creamy base for you. And that's it? That's all that's in there? Okay. It's really like a simple thing. You can add cream, you could use milk, you could use chicken stock. As long as you have the flour and the butter in there, it's all gonna be golden. And just mix it all around. Just mix it up. You want really nice coverage. And this is already cooked, so you're basically just warming it up in the oven. Yeah. And what you are cooking is the delicious pastry topping. So okay. I'm going to let you All right. be you... the champion and add that in right there. All right, I'm going to add that in as we do that. You're from L.A., right? So please yes. tell me about your background and how it's influenced your dishes. You know, I'm from Los Angeles, and I was a math and science teacher. I taught what? middle school and... I'm actually so excited because a lot of my former students and parents are coming to the book signing tonight. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I tell you, I wish I could transport back in time and have a kitchen in my classroom because there's so many moments of like geometry, of math, of like just part whole relationships. Everything happens in the kitchen. And when you do something hands on, it's like the best lesson ever. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm going to place this down here. I oh think God, you I. Did so well. Okay, I was about to say, I think I passed my first test here. You passed it with <laughs> flying colors. And so what are you doing right now? You're cutting circles? I'm cutting little shingles of pastry, and we're going to just plop these on here. It's a really easy way of having like a pretty topping. And you have to worry about like there being a crack or like the lattice not working out. Mm. Okay, so we were talking about your cookbook, your kids. What are their, what's their favorite recipe in here? Oh my gosh, I think their favorite recipe is literally anything sweet. They <laughs> love making banana muffins because it's one of the things they can do on their own start to finish. It's like a little bit messy, but it is so cute and oh, worthwhile. There they are. Oh my gosh. What are their names? Tell us everything. Lachlan and George, they are five now. And I tell you, they've had like a growth spurt and they are like this big like big bouncing boys. <laughs> oh, well, of course, they've got a dad that can feed them pretty much anything, That's right? That's true, I never thought about that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They're well fed. <laughs> They're well fed. So you cut all these out you and you- Cut these out and then like, here's the deal. You're gonna plop those on, continue, just give them a brush with an egg wash. Whenever you add egg to any pastry or baked good, it's gonna give you shine and a beautiful golden color. And that's the finish that you want. Oh, okay, and then... And then this goes into the oven. You bake until golden brown, uh -huh. and you end up with this. Oh my God, that's that so beautiful. See how nice that is? And it's so easy. You can finish off with some flaked salt, and it is just like the perfect warming moment that you want in those colder months. Oh, that's perfect. The it... book's arranged by the seasons, and you really get the food that you want in the season. Right. So like in the fall and the winter, I want the hearty comfort foods, but in the summer, I'm out and about, I'm grilling, I'm having picnics, and I want the light food and like the wonderful abundance from my garden. All right, so I've got to try this. And while I'm tasting mm. this, can you please tell me the book signing tonight? I'm going to be at the Grove tonight. <laughs> All the dishes for you. Oh, we're going to talk about that dish in a second, but I want to make sure we get your book signing in. There I'm you go. I'm going to be at the Grove tonight, 7 o'clock. Everyone should grab a ticket, and I will be meeting you. We'll have a talk, and it's going to be really fun. Mm. Oh my gosh, this tastes like fall. It's just like yes. the perfect blend. Oh, I love this. And then, so here, I saw this at first, and I'm like, is that meatball pizza? <laughs> Which sounds delicious. <laughs> Which is delicious, but yeah. This is a creamy polenta, and we have an Italian sausage meatball over it. And adding the Italian sausage with the fennel and everything is a great way to add tons of flavor into your meatball, but I'd be really easy. And it's actually one of my favorite dishes, especially in any kind of a cold lunch. So what do I have here? That's not this, that's that. No. Which one? This is an oh. avocado lemon. Oh, okay. And this is a Greek chicken soup, and it's oh. made with egg and lemon. And it is one of the most delicious things. If you're ever under the weather, this is what you want. Oh, but if you're not under the weather, you still want it. Is that good? 
Oh my gosh, okay, so now I gotta taste that one. You've got me tasting too much stuff here. Oh, there's never too much for you. So how did you know you just wanted to go to cooking? Just, this is what, this is the passion. So my mom's from Mexico and she came to LA and brought with her a love of like fresh ingredients, making things from scratch and being like inventive and exploring in the kitchen. And I got to help her when I was a kid. So growing up, I was always in the kitchen. I was dreaming of the day I could do dishes because that was like the one thing I was not allowed to do as a child. Well, John, I will clear these dishes for you to wash because this is so, so good. Thank oh, you thank so you. Much. No, thank you for ushering in fall and everyone. He will be signing copies of his book of, cookbook, sorry, again at Barnes and Noble at the Grove tonight at 7 p.m. And for more delicious eats and fun places to play, just visit us on Instagram at MBCCA Live. I'm about to grab something and continue eating. You continue something. eating. You did such a good job, by the way. Oh, thank so you. So impressed. Come help me in my kitchen anytime. Uh, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would love to be in your kitchen. I just don't want to ruin anything. No, you will not. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>